in the details, and if you have a beautiful home, your everyday essentials can be pretty too. Kimberly Seldon is here with some examples. <laughs> idea because you know regardless of what room in your house you're going into it's nice right. to have a be surrounded by pretty things it is it is and you know the reality is my children are grown now so I have more time to focus on this stuff but these are really easy things you can do to eliminate some of the plastic bottles and yeah. things that just don't look great around the house so l let's let's start by talking about toilet brushes everybody <laughs> everybody <laughs> needs one yeah no I'm not I have nothing to say about toilet brushes do you except not for, at all except please please use it use them like you Use the, every single bathroom needs a toilet brush, right? And there's no reason you can't have a beautiful one. So this one has a little That's marble pretty. container. Look at this one. It's got a fancy shape. Maybe this would make it more attractive for people to use. Right. And Just hold that there for can, us so we can see that. This is the only time you is... can touch it. Yes. Right? Because it's brand spanking new. That's right. And but then after that, you know, it stays there. Or it's being cleaned out. Yes. Uh, but yeah, it's nice if it looks good. It's sitting out there for people to see. So why not make it look good? Right. Exactly. I want to point out something else that I, this is a teak bench. This actually came from my shower. So if it looks like it's 15 years old, it is. I point <laughs> it out because clients will sometimes spend thousands of dollars doing a marble seat in a shower, yes. which is not very nice to sit on. Naked, marble, wetness, it's not nice. No. It's just, we're having some very intimate conversations today. We are. A teak bench in the shower will change your life. It's just a few hundred dollars and it looks beautiful okay. as well. What a good idea. Then if you have a bathtub, a freestanding bathtub, you have to have somewhere for your toiletries. Yep. So get yourself a beautiful box. A, bu a champagne bucket would be beautiful. A picnic Ooh, nice. basket would work. This is a, a gold box. We took these boxes and we hung them on the wall beside the client's shower, nice. beside the client's bath. And, other, and she had her shampoo and her conditioner and her exfoliators and they were all kind of hidden and it was lovely. That is that is nice. Okay. When you are talking, we might as well stay in the bathroom. Well, let's, let's stay in the bathroom. Let's we're here. Stay in the bathroom. Let's hang here out we a while. Together. That's right. So one of my pet peeves is not having a really easy place to find the extra toilet paper. Right. People should not have to go searching for the toilet paper. So I love this stand because you can put the extra rolls here. Yes. Which is great. Don't make your guests go searching for toilet paper. That's just mean. It's just mean. <laughs> Come and, on. And let's be honest. We all do bring our cell phones into the bathroom, right? We do, guys. That's true. I mean, here's what happens. You have your cell phone, and our whole lives are now on this smartphone, and you're heading into a, a bathroom, and you either are going to put it in here, which you're not supposed to not do. Good. That's not good. You don't want it close to your skin. But you're gonna bring, you gotta put it somewhere right. in the bathroom. So this has got so, its own little phone stand. That's right. Like, why isn't that nice? That's great. It's it's lovely. I think Listen, it's we did a whole show on germs and we tested right. the average smartphone. Ooh. It was actually not as bad as you would think. Oh really? But you can you can wipe them regularly. You can wipe your phones down yeah. and you know disinfect them a little bit because the reality is they're coming everywhere with us. Germs. Germs. And cell so phones. So just have a nice little stand it's for it. A nice there. little stand for it. I know you want it. Decanter. So if you were around in the 80s and the 90s, we all had these beautiful decanters, but you were probably don't have bourbon in it. So I was <laughs> mouthwash in mine. That's nice. Because I think it's really pretty. And so for every yeah. client, we kind of put a decanter with mouthwash and they're like why is there blue liquor in the bathroom right that makes things that would be mouthwash that would be mouthwash uh, in the kitchen a lovely place to hold your paper towels it doesn't have to be one of those plastic things attached yeah. to the underside of the cabinet this is just a lucite holder beautiful simple it elevates it. this is a wine cooler but a wine cooler that could also be used to hold your makeup brushes to hold mm. utensils cooking utensils etc mm -hmm. and you know how everybody has a can opener that's like plastic and really like kind of ratty looking I love the gold that's can gorgeous. opener for the that's girlfriend really who has nice. everything for sure yes salt and pepper sh shakers of course you want something stylish yeah you know I'm obsessed with how you hold your tissues yeah and I will never have a tissue box in my house so I have every oh, kind of different ugly. ring you could have. What about the so, tissue, like the, the, the boxes that go over the tissue box? Like the, the acrylic ones? Yeah. Beautiful, but okay. you just have to make sure you remove all the packaging. Got it. So this, I think, is really fun, That's by lovely. the way. So you can do white if you're a purist. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. 
Yeah. All of these, by the way, I went shopping at CB2. Oh, nice. Which was really fun. Is that where you found the egg right? holder? I was so excited when I saw that because this everybody has egg beautiful. cartons in the fridge. Now I open my fridge and I have like little oh, jewels. That's gorgeous. So I just want to make some fried eggs right now. Don't you just? This is beautiful. Don't you just. Okay, oil and vinegar jars. Of course, oil and vinegar, but you can also get your toners and your makeup remover out of those ugly plastic oh, bottles yeah. and put them into beautiful bottles like this. That's nice. Which is gorgeous. Just a little spout and everything. And you know how sometimes people give you gifts and you already have an oil and vinegar? Now you have a second set. What am I supposed to do? Now you know what to do. Yeah. Um, nail polish remover could go in there as well, which oh, would be yes. lovely. Same thing with your soap dispensers. Just use them for other things. Yes. Because they're so pretty. Why not? Absolutely. It's the easiest switch you can make. Um, now these little clips are lovely. Okay, so I opened up my girlfriend's cupboard the other day and she had like chip bags covered in rubber bands and I'm like, what is happening here? <laughs> Why is this happening? I've been, I've been guilty of that. Right? I understand because you don't want the food to get stale, no. but look how fun that is. So that's guess what beautiful. she's getting for her birthday. Because if you're, you're, you got to, you didn't get to all the way to the the bottom of the dirty bag of chips. You right. can now like put a pretty little uh, tie on it and for next time. You know what? And maybe I will be tempted not to eat them all just so I can use just the clips. Just so you can use Probably the not. clips. Probably not. Probably not is what I'm saying. Good incentive there. And then the there. last thing, this was inspired. These are These trivets. Are oh, they're lovely. I never, I haven't had trivets in years and I am the person who brings the oven mitt to the table and puts the thing on top of it. Yeah. That's over. That's right, just, that's done. I'm done with that. Now you're triveting Ratty it. Ratty dish towels, oven mitts, don't bring them to the dining room yeah. table. Get yourself some beautiful trivets. That's really, really And these nice. are all like really well-priced gifts as well. And like little things that are just going to delight you uh, day to day. 